Welcome back. My next guest, this, uh, my name is John Platero, and my next guest is the studly Sean Finnegan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can oh, call him, I could tease him because yeah. I've known him a long time. Yeah, that's true. So, actually, you know, I've, I've been a trainer since the 70s, Oof. and it's now, you know, it's very popular. I'm sure everybody's heard of personal trainer. And like anything, like there's good doctors, bad doctors, good attorneys, bad attorneys. Uh, a lot of people call themselves a trainer, but I, I'm going to say Sean is the real deal. Sean mm-hmm. is a real trainer. He has a master's in physical therapy. He he has a, uh, a bachelor's degree in biology. What the hell were you thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Dude, Pretty biology? Much. Give me a break, <laughs> oh, man. What do you do with that? Yeah, but he, he's a real deal. I've known him for maybe 15 yeah, years maybe. or so where, you know, he, he's been training. And he's also a studly dude. Look. Look, he's on covers of magazines and stuff time. like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a little over to the left. Yeah, ooh, yeah. There you go. There you well, go. You should show him the other one. It's better. Yeah. Man, uh, you're uh, big there. I was a 170. You look huge. Smoke and mirrors. It's yeah, all, it's all editing. It's like a superhero. <laughs> they paint my abs in. So <laughs> what's the name of your company? It's called Core Energy Fitness. And what's it about? Well, basically what it is is – uh. This company came about because uh, we were actually managing uh, fitness centers, uh, rehab centers, and uh, I was doing personal training and physical therapy. I just kind of wanted to do both because one's ill care, one's well care, and I really got intrigued by well care, how to really take care of yourself and really stay in top condition. Where were, you, where were you doing the physical therapy? Uh, I was in uh, the Valley, Tarzana. I was managing a fitness club, uh-huh. a, a country club over there. Uh-huh. And this, the product that I developed out of it was kind of out of necessity because I, I, since I do do both fitness and rehab, um, I use a lot of bands and use straps and things like that. And uh, I couldn't find anything on the market that fit both fitness and rehab. So I talked to some engineer guy and I said, hey, look, I need, th- I need this. It's a really simple thing. I just need it. And then uh, w- he developed it for me. And then we looked at it. And then we were like, huh, I wonder if we can patent this. So we, we talked to the patent attorneys, and it turns out something as simple as a hook can be patented. Uh-huh. And the design of the hook is really the special part of it, but I'll talk about that later. But uh-huh. it basically, it came out of necessity. This, you know, Well, I got a question in terms – you yeah. s- just said uh, bands. In other yeah. words, why are bands kind of associated with therapy as opposed to, you know, lifting weights and right. getting strong? W- what – why is that Why associated that? with that? Well, typically because bands are really cheap, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> and you can give them out on like a discharge. Let's say somebody um, needs to continue to do exercise. Insurance can only cover so much, right? So you get, let's say, 10 visits. Okay, so then the rest of the rehab, you have to do it on your own. So a therapist will give them the tools they need to do the rehab on their own. And the bands And the well. bands are affordable. So the problem is when they go home... Mm-hmm. And they want to do these exercises. It's <clears throat> difficult to do at home, correct? Right. So this is part of the solution. Exactly. Thanks for bringing that up because the, there's nowhere to anchor anything in your home really safely. Ultimately, you can slam it into a door jam or whatever like that, but ultimately, it's not safe. And so, what I developed is a very safe solution, an affordable solution, so you can have literally a home rehab gym. Pilates studio at home, you know, so it covers a lot of bases. And when you're anchored, why do you need to anchor to something? Well, for safety, you know, it needs, to, and also for the longevity of the band, and so it needs to secure to something, and that something does, if it wiggles out, or, or you know, somehow, what happened was in the gym, we would have guys put on these bands onto these big pieces of equipment. That somebody, can't move. Yeah. They can't move, but they're adjustable somehow, and we would have people adjusting while they're doing it. So they're not designed to anchor bands. They're designed to do other things, Mm -hmm. and so we would get people going, wait a minute. You're tying up this big, huge piece of equipment with a a band. A band. So It's annoying. What kind of equipment? What are you talking about? Like a Smith machine or a leg press machine. What happened there? Getting buzz. Are you buzzing? Are we buzzed? Okay, so – Compare this hook, like what kind of piece of equipment would you be using in a gym to, to pull off what you pull well, off with this? Well, it, we, we go into the different markets. We go into uh, rehab and, and fitness, basically. So um, 
when you compare a home piece with this, you're looking at the total gym, for example, the Chuck Norris piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. um, that's more like a Pilates kind of strength training tool. Mm -hmm. Mine is different in that it does not take up any floor space. It's literally mounted into your wall studs or brick or concrete. This is it? This is it right here. You want to hold it up? So you can see that. But basically, it's, it's an open-faced hook, meaning you don't have to do any clip hooks or anything like that what to attach for? it. What are these for? That, that's called the hammerhead safety hook. So when you exercise... It's a good name, man. Yeah, it's looks good. like a hammerhead shark. It looks shark. like a hammerhead shark, right? Yeah. So it's basically three hooks in one. You got the main hook and then the two hooks from the, created by the hammerhead barrier tip, we call it. Uh -huh. And so that way, if anything rides up, we didn't have that barrier tip in the beginning, and we did some prototypes with it, and it snapped my business partner right in the forehead. Ooh. And so we're like, okay, this is not good. <laughs> lawsuit, lawsuit, right? Luckily, it was your business partner. Exactly. <laughs> well, he didn't lose an eye, thank God. But it was a pretty devastating blow, so uh, we were almost ready to go to market with it. So we came back with this, this design, and the hammerhead design was the, the ticket because now we can still have the open face feature, which means you don't have to do any clip hooks to attach anything to it, N nothing fancy. It's really, you know, it's loop and go. Right. And then if you do any aggressive exercise up or down, side to side, that little hammerhead barrier tip is going to catch it and uh, allow for zero disengagement whatsoever. Now, do you have uh, versions that are longer? No. Like more hooks up the line? Right. Well, you just buy more of those. I see. So we you have to stack them or yeah. put them at different heights. Yeah, you put one at your your ankle height. You know, uh -huh. you put one at chest height. You put one over the head. And and that's we have all a, you need. That's all you really? need, pretty much. And, you know, and then all the bands that go with it, uh, you can do any type of band on it. So there's several different types of bands, the flat bands, large loop bands, small loop bands, braided bands. Do you have the bands? Yeah, you we sell, sell the, the bands, bands too, yeah. We okay. sell the whole kit. For a whole gym, uh -huh. for lifetime guarantee, $182. <laughs> and this thing will never break. We spec'd it out so high. Commercially, we spec'd it out so it can go into gyms. We have, you know, gyms, uh -huh. use it, the military uses it, and so on. So, for example, this could... Uh, in other words, the exercises were pretty much mm -hmm. addressing... Or pulling exercises. No, no. Push you can and push. Pulling. You can push and pull. You can Correct. do the TRX kind of stuff, the suspension type training. Okay. And w w let me just say what TR. T tell say what TRX is. What the TRX is, is a company. They they do suspension trainings. It's your it's basically your body weight training. So you have a non elastic strap with handles on the end, and you use your body at certain angles, which will create. Uh, the resistance in your muscles that you need. So you could use that on this too. Yeah, you can use that. Okay. Any type of suspension okay. strap. Okay. It's so, in the gym, we would use like a cable cross. You can do that with this too. You you basically get two systems side by side, and now you have like a functional trainer. Oh, I see. And you can you can have the bands go side to side now, up and down side to side. But I have a, a cable cross, and it was about three thousand dollars. Right. Well, you can, for. So for less, is, yeah, it's a lot less, a more affordable, lot cheaper. a right. lot cheaper. Yeah. All right, so basically, you would just have different strengths of bands, correct, to add more resistance. Right. Yeah, bands are really affordable. They have nice handles now, and bands last anywhere from a year on up, depending on how, how you take care of them. And they're. Do you have some kind of fitness programming along with this? Yes, I developed a, what I call the core wellness program. What that's what is that? It's of? it's three components. It's it's uh, nutrition education. It's strength training and cardio conditioning. And I teach everybody, I, since I've been doing this for so long, I've kind of just collected the good and got rid of the bad. Yeah. And I've kind of bullet pointed it out into like 13 different points for nutrition. Oh, you got some bands there. I got some bands, yeah. All right, okay, I see one of those. Sure. Okay, so these, uh, I've actually heard about these bands from other trainers on how good they are. Wow, they're really good. Well, our, our bands are different because I, since I'm a guy and I have wider hands, mm -hmm. most of the uh, handles on the market are not so wide. See? Yeah. That's wider, so it's a lot more comfortable. And most of the uh, the handles are really wimpy. Right. These are more – it's wider and it's got a it's lot like sturdier a feel. Handle. Right, exactly. That's so we really like these, and we think that people will, will appreciate the extra effort we made on these. Well, um, where is Core Energy Fitness? It's in Tarzana, California, where Tarzan was – <laughs> living at is one that time. Your, <laughs> is that your website? Uh, it's coreenergyfitness.com. And if people want to go check out the wellness program, it's on, at the very top. It's called the Core Wellness Program. And this is the one you just said that has the three components. Of right. Cardio. It's nutrition education. Uh -huh. It's uh, strength training. And it's cardio conditioning. So and how, how do you – can? do they have to come there to get this program? Or really, can they can they call me. You can call me anytime. Okay, I, I so they can go to coreenergyfitness.com. .com. 
Okay. And so how so you would deliver the program through the internet or on the phone or something right. like that? Well, it's always posted online. So if you get a system, or if you don't get a system, if you get the bands, whatever you do, mm -hmm. you can still follow the program I have. It's mm -hmm. still basic tra strength training concepts, cardio concepts, nutrition concepts. We don't sell anything nutrition-wise. We don't sell any supplements. I don't believe in all that mm -hmm. stuff. But mm -hmm. um, I do believe in what I've, what I've studied and what I've applied to myself over the years. It's really worked. I'm... I'm less than 10% body fat, mm -hmm. and it's really, you know, you're, you know. Yeah, you look the same 15 yeah, years ago. This guy doesn't like, age. I don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> the well, we should get those Nerium girls back here and find out what he's eating. What, what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's just consistent things over time. So what is the nutrition program? What is it based on? Well, the, 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 the main objective behind the nutrition program is to eat balanced meals so you regulate insulin. So if, you, if you're regulating insulin – then you're controlling how much fat your your body's storing. Okay, so if you keep your insulin levels in check and, and low, your body's going to not store body fat. So are you eating small meals a day? Yeah. Or, or I mean, we've all heard it before, right? Yeah. So eat, you know, eat four, four to five, eight, eat every three to four hours, basically. When you wake up, mm -hmm. eat within the hour, every three mm -hmm. to four hours after that. Mm -hmm. Try to do whole natural foods, not mm -hmm. refined, not processed. I mean, you can't, you know, if you're going up on stage, yes, people do that. You know, mm -hmm. comply 100%. But I say tell people don't get freaked out. Just kind of, you know, do what you can do. Take all those 13 bullet points and start applying them. Like one's really easy is just cut out um, fruit juices, for example. I had a guy one time that was he was almost at his goal, 15 pounds off. And I was like, dude, what are you? What are we doing here? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you know, uh, I'm. I said, well, tell me everything you eat and drink. So he goes, yeah, well, at the bed at bedtime I have a bunch of cranberry juice, a lot of cranberry juice. And I was like, dude, well, here's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He got to his goal weight okay. real fast. Yeah. What about people who uh, I hear that they, they wake up and they're just not hungry? Okay. So for those people that have trained their bodies to not eat, um, what I tell them to do is, even though I don't advocate shakes and things like that, like those are refined and processed foods, Yes. but sometimes they're used as a tool to introduce, um, to start revving up your metabolism. So I tell people, okay have a shake in the morning you know you can make a really nice shake with the proper amount of protein carbs and fat maybe some peanut butter in there for the fat mm -hmm. some frozen strawberries and bananas and whatever mm -hmm. and then the protein powder men i tell them try to hit the mark of 30 to 40 grams per meal women 15 to 25 grams per meal mm -hmm. every meal okay and try to have only a source of protein from animals or animal based or animal derived so that's not a lot of protein in a meal Right? No. It's like a chicken breast. Maybe. Yeah, a chicken breast for a man. Yeah, exactly. It's not that much. Right. But, you know, to answer your question is that I would tell people, okay, do a shake in the morning and kind of sip on it throughout the day uh -huh. uh, and over the course of an hour. Uh -huh. And then once your body starts to say, okay, now my, I'm ready for more, more food, Food. then you introduce that. Now, what, what's your opinion on uh, mm. nighttime? Like I, you'll hear, uh, don't eat after 6 or don't eat after 7 or right. don't eat after – uh -huh. is there – you I don't believe in that. Right. Okay. No, it's a, see, everybody's got their own schedules. Okay. Yes. So if you comply with what I tell tell you, which means, okay, every waking hour, okay, waking hours is once you wake up, that starts the clock. And then once you go to bed, that stops the clock. So everything in between is fair game. So mm -hmm. when you wake up within the hour of waking, you eat a meal every three or four hours after that, up until one hour before you go to bed, as long as the meal is balanced, balanced. created with whole natural foods, you're not eating Oreo cookies and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, People binge eat at night. No Oreo cookies, <laughs> man. Yeah, what are you talking? Not, you know, I know you can do it. But. Yeah. So and then, uh, so that's the. Would you say nutrition is a uh, is 50 percent of the equation? What's the? Is it the majority of the equation? Is the exercise okay. the majority it's, of the equation? Okay. If you have to look at percentages, it's 50 50. Okay. However, you have to have the first 50 percent in place, which is the nutrition, in order for the exercise to be effective. Because you're feeding a, your body crap and you're exercising, you might get two steps forward, right. but you're gonna go right. you know, a step and a half back, right? Uh -huh. So what's the point? Okay. So I tell people, okay, uh, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, stay compliant with eating every three to four hours, eating whole natural foods, balanced meals, hydrating, uh -huh. you know? Um, and Do make you recommend a lot of water or what, what's your recommendation? Well, usually it's half your body weight in ounces. Half your body weight in ounces. Yeah. But in pounds? Yeah, pounds. So if I'm 160 pounds, 80 ounces of water. Right. Okay. And then what about uh, sleep? 
sleep, I tell people, okay, it's really super duper important. So, okay, it's really important to, to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> rocking back and forth. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people disregard it as, a, as part of their health program. But I tell people, you know, it's so important to get your rest because you're, that's what, when, you're, when all the magic happens in your body, all uh -huh. the things really need to to. And I read a study somewhere that they, they kept a bunch of people awake for hours and they actually retained fat. Well, yeah, because it triggers the, uh, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the hormone, uh, cortisol, because uh -huh. you're stressing your body out, right? Yeah, yeah. So it triggers that hormone to release and because cortisol increases your body fat so. so rest is just as important rest as is exercise. key you gotta you gotta weave it in you get, just like anything else you gotta weave it into your lifestyle you gotta make it part of your daily program mm -hmm. and make it a non-negotiable i tell people you know fitness is so important i mean every every study i ask anybody professionals and non-professionals the same question and they, they answer the same what's the most important part of a, a being healthy what do you what do you need to do i need to eat right and i need to exercise mm -hmm. So, okay. okay, let's all start doing that. Okay. But, you know, let's, you know what I mean? Yeah. But let's put it into your daily schedule. Not, make it a non-negotiable. So your program, this wellness program, the core wellness program, is it, a, is, it, is it three days a week, two days a week? What is it? It's for your life every day. So it's a lifestyle. It's every day. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, I tell people, okay, I, I go off the program once or twice. And the holidays, I go way off, okay, because it's holidays and I don't care. I want to enjoy the holidays, right? Right. right? right I mean, right. and then the rest of the year I have to stay tight and everything like that. Right. But uh, I tell. Uh, but it's it, an exception. It's an exception, right? So you got two weeks, maybe three, of just you know debauchery, <laughs> right? <laughs> Go for it, okay? Because <laughs> yeah. you know you're gonna get back on track, but right. uh, you know just get back on doing the uh -huh. right things every day. Uh -huh. And you know if you weave it into your lifestyle, for example, you know my cardio, it takes a little time to do cardio, as you know. Yes. So what I do is I make I set myself up for success. So I have a, a little spinning bike at home, and I love to watch t Comedy Central, whatever. Right. You know, I just like all that stuff, right? Uh -huh. And so I figured I'm going to watch X amount of TV per day, right? That's it. And so if I'm doing t watching TV, I can exercise while I watch TV and, yeah. you know, create this kind of uh, a combination right. of good things for me. Now, uh, I'm sure a lot of people that are listening, they have the same intention, right? They're right. going, hey, yeah, you know. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm going to do the debauchery for three weeks and I'm going to get Keep on going. track. Okay. So why do so, why do so many people fail? What's, how do you, why? Because they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. You've got to understand the reasons why and have a really strong why that will never deviate. So you'll never, you never get off the path. Mm -hmm. My reasoning is because, uh, I had cancer. Really? Yeah. I, had I didn't cancer. know that. Yeah. So I had cancer. Were you a so smoker? no, I had throat cancer. Just got lucky, Just huh? got lucky. And so I had to go through all this stuff, you know, and I was so unhealthy. How did you beat that? Uh, chemo and radiation. So, and this is a couple years ago, right? Oh. I, didn't, I didn't tell you, obviously. No, no, man. <laughs> yeah. You, you look fine. Yeah, I was on a feeding tube, and I was I was ah. malnourished, did dehydrated. You lose a lot of lost a lot. I was down 130-some pounds. Now I'm 175. Wow. So I was feeling really disgusting, and I felt like I was going to die. Wow. And so that motivated me because I have kids and everything. So I want to stick around. How many kids right you thing. have? A couple. Do you, did you change your your nutrition mm -hmm. from that? Yeah, I was uh, before cancer. I had I was I kind of went off the the beaten path a, a lot. Uh -huh. I was 205 pounds. Mm -hmm. I was probably 25 percent body fat. I didn't do the things that I tell people to do. I kind of lost my way. Right. And so why uh, did you lose your way? You think? Ah, uh, there's lots of reasons. Right. 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 <laughs> uh, so, but I'm not going to blame it on anything. I just lost my way. And people, you know, that happens. People cycle. So, mm. and then I used a, a traumatic event like cancer as a turning point to, for me to say, let, you know, I'm wasting time. You know, I got to treat my body better. I've got to, you know, I don't, I don't want to just have my abs in be, because right. I'm modeling or anything. I'm right. not doing that anymore. Right. I want to just be in shape. Right. So I can do stuff. What did your, what did your diet is there something specific that cancer that fights cancer um nutrient wise um is there something that people should be aware of in terms of i've heard of alkalinity and i do that like water that. alkaline water yeah. i'm doing a lot of stuff I, you know so the jury's out on a lot of the things you know mm -hmm. but you know obviously eating healthy choices eating whole natural foods because whole natural food is your medicine and so i, I introduced a lot more vegetables 
um, a lot more, a lot less refined processed foods into my diet because I was eating a lot of bread and rice and pasta and just you know that's not good. I love it though. I know it's good, uh, but I eat it once a week now. So. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> like in okay, so now in this in your program, mm -hmm. can people? Do you, in other words, when you, uh, when I asked you, okay, why do people fail? And you said, because they don't know why. So yeah. you, do you educate them? Mm -hmm. Well, I ask them, I say, why, why are you going to do this? What, what's, what's motivating you to start? I mean, a lot of times it's vanity. I just, I can't, I don't want to take off my shirt. You know, I feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Use that, but don't forget it. Right. You know, get a picture of yourself when you're really disgustingly fat. Uh -huh. And put it up on the wall. Yeah, you know. And so, when, have, you, so uh, when you say I, I, I hate yeah. doing this, but then look at the picture and go. Yeah, that's you, motivating. You get you? something that really, really motivates you to the nth degree. And whether mine, it's my kids, it's you know, it's it's that. It's um, so everybody has their own why, but just tap into it, identify it, write it down, mm -hmm. tell people, mm -hmm. you know, because they you know ha have everybody on board with you. Because mm -hmm. most people want to support you in your health endeavor, you know. Well, you you would hope so. You would hope so. Some people are naysayers, like, ah, what are you doing that for? But, you know, I try to really make it so so simple that, you know, it's so easy to do. It's also easy not to do, but, you really know, it's, it's, it's really not to. But if you take little baby steps, I always start my clients out, okay, you're here right now. Mm -hmm. You feel horrible. You're overweight and you have bad energy. You're eating poorly. You're not hydrating, all these things. Okay, let's pick a couple things off the off the chart here. And let's try to do so those. little by little. Yeah, little. And I find a lot of people, though, I, I've uh, come across uh, people that are not healthy or yeah. overweight, and they'll tell me they feel fine. Because that's their normal. Right. Yeah, they, they don't know what n n not, you know, getting, being in shape feels like. Right. Because they've been out of shape all their life, right? Right. That's the problem is they don't uh -huh. know. Right. So, and I find also for myself, uh, like anything, it takes – a lot of work to be really good at something right and sometimes that's challenging mm -hmm. but when you get to that level of where you're very fit it's an incredible feeling that you want to stay there uh -huh. but I've been injured or you in your case yeah. had a, uh, had a cancer uh, you, when you fall out of shape you get to another normal work that kind of feels okay sure you know because I like donuts yeah you so, adapt so now I adapt, and now I uh, the high or the feeling that I had of being really in shape, mm -hmm. it's kind of a memory, mm -hmm. and now I'm in this new place where, because I I love steak and I love French fries and yeah, I and I and I start eating that, and then you know I'm not as fit, but I'm like people say I feel fine, yeah. you know I I feel okay. It's just they just don't know the difference. Right. So the challenge is is to get them f to their norm here, go through that uncomfortable. And and I equate it to like playing a guitar. Mm -hmm. You want to play songs, and you start with scales, mm -hmm. which is and your finger boring. Mm -hmm. And 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 finally, when you cross over where you can play some chords, mm -hmm. and it starts to be fun, mm -hmm. and now you're going wow. It's not a chore to practice because right. now I'm having fun. I, yeah. I get this new norm. Right. There's that stage of getting through the uncomfortableness of of being not good at right, it right. to getting good at it, and that's where I think, yeah. a, a you know a, a program you know or a trainer such right. as yourself like helps them get through that to establish those new habits. Right. I always tell people to focus on just the the little habits every day because they're just. There's there's so many different things you, habits you can do. Let's just focus like it's like when you're hiking a mountain. You don't try not to look up mm -hmm. at the mountain because yeah, it's, it's pretty daunting. You look down. Yeah, just just keep stepping. Just that. Yeah, so that's why I tell people just keep keep stepping, keep keep doing the right things, do more right than wrong throughout the week, and just process of addition. You know, you'll get better. So I got a question: At what um, in your program do you uh, mm -hmm. do you have you ever had to like? text people like every three hours to go hey now <laughs> i'd like to do an app actually so yeah. when you eat i think there is one actually that yeah. when you eat and then you hit a button and, it's, and then every three hours it'll it'll give you an alert to eat again because people forget you know they're like oh well, when did i eat again i remember back in those uh la fitness days when i was driving around i had a watch that had a countdown timer which i uh -huh. believe was for the meter you know, when oh, you would right. put money in a meter uh -huh. and you go, well, I got two hours, I'm shopping, sure. and you could set it for two hours. And I yeah. remember I did exactly what you said. I set it for three hours, 
And I was so surprised when it would go off because I wasn't really hungry. Right. I was just a little hungry. Uh -huh. And in my in my normal day, I'd be driving, you know, to uh -huh. Chino, stuck in traffic, whatever. And I and I would blow it up. Like I never thought about the three hours. And I would wait till five or six, right. and then I would be famished. Yeah. And whatever was in front of me, uh -huh. whatever it was, yeah, I would you're, eat. You're down in it because I was yeah, so, hungry. so hungry. So it really surprised me that every three hours. To make yourself just have a pair or, or – Yeah, just something every three to four. Just be prepared. I, I always carry my bag of stuff around. Mm -hmm. I have nuts in there and certain things. Mm -hmm. So, so you know – Are we going out? Ultimately, yeah, uh, you got to be prepared. Are we going out? Are we out? Oh, we're, we're breaking or we're done? We're done. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, man. I wanted to get his. I, okay. I wanted to get his. Uh, I want to get your uh, website again. It's Core Energy. Core Energy Fitness .com. See, right there. Okay, cool. Good job, man. A wrap out. You've been listening to. You've been listening to <laughs> Sean Finnegan. Hey, everybody. And John Platero at LA Live, Talk Live. Nice. Thanks for listening. Good job, John. Thanks. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs>